project I'm working on is a sunflower plate. And so I've got two different sizes of rectangles and I'm trimming them down to look like petals. This is kind of taking forever. And you just make it narrower on one end, rounder on the other. Try not to clip off too much at any one time. And then save all the scraps. Hmm. Makes a petal shape. And I don't want it to look too perfect, too straight. I want it to look more like an actual flower petal. So I'm not worried about it having these little scallopy edges. I think that would make it look more like a real petal. And yeah, they're not perfect. But they don't need to be. And after I'm done getting them all ready, I'll clean them and then I'll arrange them into a flower shape. This one's going to go in by itself. So I'm going to build it on the shelf. I need something a nice circle shape and that's not going to be part of the flower but that's just going to help me maintain the shape it looks like i'm going to need a lot more pieces and then my next round overlap. Yeah, I'm going to need a lot more pieces. But then I'm going to make a circle and then make one on the inside where they overlap and then make continue making concentric circles until I get toward about a three inch center. And then I'll use frit to make the center of the sunflower. Yeah, I like that size. Looks like it'll be about an eight inch plate when it's done. Well, I need a lot more of this yellow. I need to start this over because without the disc in the center, it wasn't going to be able to support the petals in the center. If I do three rows with a four inch circle, I'm not going to have enough of a center. So what I might do is start with the first row a little bit away from the center. And then the next row is going to overlap a little bit, and then the next row will overlap a little bit as well. So we'll try that, see how that works. So 
sunflower finally looks the way I want it to. I really wanted to stick to two rows of petals, but got a little carried away and then felt I needed this tiny row to really define the center. Next step is firing. And I'm going to have to give that some thought. I am inclined to go with a tack because I do not want it to turn into one sheet puddle. But in the center, we're talking two, three layers of glass in some places. So it's even on a tack, there's going to be some movement. But I'm thinking that's what I'll do. Because if I full fuse it, it is definitely going to turn into a puddle. And I know I don't want that. And if you tack it and it's not enough, you can just run it for another tack fuse. But if you full fuse it into a puddle, you're done. So I guess that answers my question. Tack it is. So the sunflower's out. I'm not really happy the way it turned out. I put way too much color for accent petals. So, and I didn't like the center. So I went back and dumped some coarse frit over the center because I want it to have more texture. And I'm going to paint over some of these super dark petals with a glass tack and then use sunflower opal powder and paint over top of it. And then I'm going to do it in a few different spots because I'm not sure how I used all the yellows that I had. So I'm not sure exactly what color these are. And I want to keep it balanced. So that's up next. Fix this sunflower. back in the kiln. I put coarser frit to give more texture to the center. Tried to get rid of some of the darker colors. Added a little bit of accent between some of the petals to make them stand out more. Ready to go back in for another tack fuse. Last thing I did was put a coat of clear powder over it to hopefully smooth everything out. We shall see. I've either fixed it <laughs> or ruined it. Okay, time to see. Is it ruined or fixed? Oh, actually, I think I fixed it. Very nice. My original intent was to slump it, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to use a uh, the type of mounting you would do on a plate and just hang this on the wall. I've gone back and ordered glass and all of the glass is gonna be Sunflower yellow, which is the lighter, and then um, marigold yellow, which is a slightly darker. And I will make it the, as a bowl. A change I'll have to make, if you look at the back, I used a clear circle. You can't really do that, obviously, because you can see the back of all the frit. So the next one will have a yellow back and no accent colors, just sunflower and marigold. So that's up next. Well, that's up after my order arrives. Mm -hmm.